Hi guys, welcome back. For this video, I'm going to show you how to make a QR code reader huh? using your Flutter uh, programming yeah? to do a mobile app. So let's first create a project. Okay, we'll choose Flutter application. Yeah, and then as usual, so this would be our uh, SDK. We install Flutter. So make sure you know where's the location. Uh, this is called my QR code. Uh, reader okay so uh, QR code application okay then uh, press next all right next and then so, okay I'm gonna finish this one you can also again as usual uh, if you've seen my last video on how to add this uh, functionality to get your your location your GPS reading, it's the same. So let's get this program started, and then we can try to uh, read. Uh, try to look at the UI, and then let's prepare the UI first. I think it will be pretty straightforward. We only need uh, a button and also uh, text view or text just to display uh, you know, the result from the QR code. Now from there you should able to add your HTTP command, you know, to make the thing more uh, at once, which can, can communicate with your cloud services. So let's wait for a while, while my project is uh, running. Okay, so I think this is what I'm going to need. I'm going to need this uh, text, yeah, to display the output. And I don't think I need this one already, so I'm going to just leave, delete this guy. And let's let's. That for the program to install the APK first. Yeah, it's compiling now. Okay, done. So you should see my app is going to be displayed soon. Yeah, it's up. All right. So I'm I, I'm going to take this text away. Uh, oh, I'm going to take the top one. Yeah, I just want to maintain the style. So this I'm going to leave it blank first, and this button is good. Uh, I'm going to change this button to camera. I think I remember there's one camera function. Uh, start uh, QR code capturing. Yeah. So this one we do just uh, get QR. Okay. I'm going to replace this one. This function with this uh, the on the start state. I can delete it. I'm not using that anymore. Then let's save this one. Yeah, it should look something like that. So this is a camera icon. So if I press on this now, then I want to launch a QR code. Now let me show you the library that I want to introduce it to you. Yeah, this is the one that I wanted to introduce to you. Hopefully you find it uh, nice. Okay, so the library is very well written. So what you need to do, you just have to do this uh, process again. Set up the uh, the dependency. Of course, make sure your uh, this uh, in computer is actually connected to the internet. Yeah, we want to look for this prospect via ML under dependency. Okay, put in your QR code, uh, the library here, save it. After that, uh, press this pub get. Yeah, so let's for let's wait for it to work. Uh, then you need to copy this guy the, to import the library. Uh, I want to show you the example. Actually, you can see the example here. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Yeah, don't forget the permission. Um, okay, just copy this guy, and then I'm going to put it right here. So that's how I'm going to get the library into my program, and then I need to make sure I have the permission. I hope you still remember where to put this one. If not, don't worry. I'm going to show it to you. You copy this permission under Android, under App, under Source, under Main, under this. Uh, manifest, yeah, except now scroll to the bottom, okay, until the last closing manifest tab, uh, tab uh, replace it, and it's just save this one here, and then you can close it already, okay, that is how you add the permission and what you need next is to call this function okay, call this function okay, for this one, I'm going to place it into my get QR code now I should be able to call this one. Now again, you should see await, so make sure that this function will be a sync, okay, a synchronous. So wait for this guy to finish, and then we can do a debug print here. Huh? 
debug print uh, camera scan results well I guess I am done let me find some uh, let me run this program first okay yes and then meanwhile let me create some QR code yeah, a simple QR code uh, so that we can do some scanning okay, I think we can find some QR code you know. Yeah, let me just find some and I'm going to use my mobile phone okay, let me start the uh, program, let me press on that Let me, let me close this program first. Yeah. Let me run it again. So if I uh, press that button, it should give me the uh, camera. It should launch the camera and then I will try to scan something. Yeah. Let's wait for my program to compile. A little bit more now. Uh, compiling. Okay, start. Now let's look at my program. All right. Let's see if I can launch. Yes. Uh, do I need to give the permission allowed? And allowed. Yep. So let's launch the camera. Yeah, as you can you see it, I can actually scan it. Yeah. So when I scanned, then of course I print out the output. So what output I get is right here because I haven't do it. Uh, so it will be it, once I scan it should be print out. It should print something. I should have lost turn. Yeah, you can see this is the output. So this all the link that we print is actually uh a, a URL, yeah, Wikipedia. So now let's put this into our um, output. Yeah. So this is how I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm going to make it a string and make it empty, and then I want to get the output from this one. Um, I want to set it on uh, uh, set state, yeah, set state. So what I'm going to do is set state so that I can update this variable. Okay. Uh, put them into the correct spacing. Okay. Then once you do that, I'm going to put this at the bottom. Uh, here get QR code. Where's my text? This one. I'm going to paste it here. Okay. I guess I'm done. Let's try again. Okay, let me get some uh, QR code for me to scan. And let me run my program again. Um, and let me run my program again. Let's see if I can just buy a camera. Okay, so let me snap. Yeah, then you can see the Wikipedia is out already. Okay, I hope you find this uh, library useful to help you to do uh, QR code scanning. Yeah. Thank you very much. Goodbye.